Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently five past four on Sunday, the... My clock doesn't have the date on it. 28th? I think it's the 28th. What do you... Th no, it can't be. It is, it's the 28th of November. Um, today I've been getting my house ready. I'm going to go and visit my mum in the Midlands um, this coming week. Um, mainly so that I can definitely see her bef like before Christmas in case... Because there's a new Covid variant and... You know, we were supposed to definitely have Christmas last year and then that got cancelled. So we might get put into lockdown again, we'll see. So, uh, but yeah, I've also been putting up my Christmas decorations today. I made a cooked breakfast earlier. I've been watching some stuff, so I've watched a few episodes of The Addams Family, been catching up on YouTube, watching some Foxes Afloat. I tried to watch the Friends reunion earlier because I'd been watching that over the period of about six months, I'd been re-watching Friends at night while reading my bedtime books. And I finally finished it, so I was like, okay, I can watch the reunion. And I just didn't, I guess I didn't know what it was. So I was expecting it to be an episode that brought them all back and showed what happened next. Um, and instead, it was an hour and 40 minute long of them being interviewed by James Corden, who I can't stand. He's from High Wycombe, where, where I live as well. Possibly one of the reasons why I can't stand him. But yeah. I, I couldn't watch after the first 10 minutes or so because it's just too painful watching James Corden. I can't stand the guy, so so I didn't watch that in the end. So, um, yeah, now I'm going to watch some more Adam's Family and some YouTube. And I'm currently reading A Shot in the Dark, A Constable Twitten Mystery by Lynn Truss. So I've read some of Lynn Truss's non-fiction in the past and quite enjoyed it. This is my first time with her fiction. I'm literally, like, 10 pages in or something. But I'm enjoying it so far, I guess. Um, it's already had a reference to Brighton Rock by Graham Greene. Uh, Graham Greene's one of my favourite authors. Brighton Rock, not necessarily my favourite of his books. Um, but I'll be interested to see, because apparently there's going to be a lot of parallels and it's set in Brighton in the 50s and stuff, so we will see. Um, and then after that, I'm probably going to read The Book of Lost Tales by J.R.R. Tolkien. Hello, it is still Sunday. It's, uh, it's now 25 past 10. Uh, I've still been cracking on. I've almost finished the Christmassy bits. Very Christmassy. Um, done all my washing up had some food got some laundry on just drying at the moment so that is mostly done um i still need to pack all of my stuff for tomorrow but i don't need to leave well i've got counseling at four and then i'll leave after my counseling so you know could be worse um i started trying to read both that lynn trust book with the name i can't remember and the book of lost tales by jrr tolkien but for me both of those are very much Bedtime reads, I think. So I've switched on to House Arconan by uh, Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. So that's going to be my big book that I read while I'm away. And then if I finish that, I'll move on to this, which is Timeline by Michael Crichton. I figure those two books should keep me going for the best part of next week. Um, to be honest, I'm back at that stage where I'm kind of running out of things to read again. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, and I do know next week I get to read another one of the Wizard of Oz books. So those are quite short and sweet though. So, I mean, I've got three of them up there, which I mean about 15% of my unread book pile at the moment is those. Um, I've made a note as well to get The Lair by James Herbert because I have Domain. And so it goes The Rats, Lair, Domain. And I've read The Rats and I own Domain. So I need to get the lair so that I can bridge the gap, as it were. Uh, it's kind of what I'm doing with the the, the Frank Herb, uh, the Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson books, because I have The Winds of June up there, which is like number nine that they wrote together. So I need to kind of work my way through to that. So um, yeah, that's the current plan. I'm not really sure what else to read. Up. I think I've got a few others up there as well. I've got a few James, other James Herberts, and I'm pretty sure most of those are like the second in the series and stuff. Um, but I mean, it's a nice problem to have because I'm trying to cut down on my own but unread TBR. So I mean, eventually, I guess the goal would be is I'll work through all of the books that are actually owned and unread. And they'll all either be read or they'll be on my bedtime books pile. And then it will literally be a case of I'll just be deciding what book I want to read next and buying it because that's really all I'll have left to do, I suppose. So yeah, going to do that. I'm about to go and film the Murder on the Orient Express book tag as well. And... Um, yeah, I've done an, a decent amount of work and I've done most of my youtube -y stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, we're in a good place to head away for a few days. I thought you would like to see, but the Christmas tree is now done. And it can't focus because of the lights on it. Maybe if I try cheating it. There we go, focused on the guitar. And that's Biggie over there in the corner. 
and we have like tinsel on that and some things up there. I also have these little mini trees to put out. Hello, it is me. It is currently about quarter past ten on Thursday the 2nd of December. I'm just currently getting annoyed at people on Facebook. Because... Right, so some there's a, been an article gone out where somebody said... Oops. Where somebody has said like, oh well, um, you know, maybe we should have... Um, uh, mask only train carriages and mask only film screenings and things like that. Um, and someone said... Uh, as somebody with a compromised immune system, I would greatly welcome these op options to give me the opportunity to travel shop and go to the cinema more safely. And someone's replied saying, Christ, how did you even live before 2020? And it's like, you mean when there wasn't a pandemic so that these measures <laughs> weren't as needed? Um, I don't know. People, man. I think it's a good idea, personally. I mean, I... I mean, I got in trouble, so I was coming back from my mum's today, and um, I was on the train, and we're currently in the UK, it's mandatory to wear masks in shops and on public transport. And I was sitting there, well I was standing there, sorry, by the doors of the train, because the stop was coming up, we were about five minutes away from the stop I was getting off at. So I was standing there with my case, just waiting to get off, and one of the members of staff came up and was like, excuse me, you can't stand here, you need to go and sit down. And I was like, but I'm getting off at the next stop, and she was like, you need to sit down until the train stops moving. And she was trying to get me to go and sit next to this guy who wasn't wearing a mask. And I was like, you know, no offence, but I don't feel comfortable doing that. I'm wearing my mask. Why isn't he wearing his mask? It's actually mandatory. Why are you hassling me about getting ready to get off the train instead of getting him to wear his mask? And um, we were going on and on. And yeah, she was basically insisting I had to go and sit down. By this point, other people had come over with their cases and were also standing waiting for the door for them to get off. And she was just focusing on me being like, you need to sit down, sir. And I was like, what about them? Why aren't, why aren't you asking them to sit down? She's like, well, I'm not asking them, I'm asking you. And anyway, when we got to the station, she was like, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the train, otherwise I'm going to get security to come and escort you off it. And it's like, but this is my stop. I've already told you, I'm get this is why I was standing by the door, ready to get off. Oh, it was ridiculous. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm back home now. So I've spent um, earlier uh, this, this week at my mum's. So I travelled uh, to Tamworth on the Monday. Uh, got in Monday evening because I had my council Monday daytime. Got in Monday evening um, and just pretty much took it easy on Monday. On Tuesday we went around some shops and got a few bits and bobs. Um, and then we went to see my grandparents. So that was nice. And then in the evening I went to go and play snooker with my dad. So in fact you probably just watched a time lapse of us playing snooker. Um, and uh, yeah that was good. Had a few beers with him. Wednesday I was just mostly working uh, and then Thursday today um, we went to meet my granddad for lunch and then I just travelled back. I finished reading House Harkonnen by Brian Herbert and Kevin J Anderson, uh, this beast. So I started reading it on Monday I think and I uh, finished it because again all the travels. That was a 4 out of 5, very good. I'm looking forward to reading the next one which actually I haven't got a clue what it is. What does it say here? What book comes after House Harkonnen? It's House Carino, that's what comes next, I've just seen it. So I'll be reading that one soonish, um, probably after Christmas now, I'll probably get it towards the end of the month, but I've been enjoying these prequels. Uh, and now I am reading uh, Timeline by Michael Crichton, so again about halfway through this. Um, and this is like a time shift cross between sci-fi and historical fiction, it's quite an interesting concept really. Um, that's probably on course for a 4 out of 5 so far, but actually I've lost interest a bit now that they're actually back in time. It was much more interesting when they were just doing all the sci-fi bits. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's where I'm at. Um, I've been doing a bit, little bit of filming here and there, a little bit of editing. I'm going to do some more of that now. Uh, I've got pie in the oven. Been a little bit anxious earlier, I'm not going to lie. So uh, I went to Morrison's to get some nice food and stuff, so that's where I got my pie from. So I'm just doing that. Um, I've been, um, you know, unpacking my case and all of that stuff. I've got a, a TV in the bedroom now as well. So Biggie was watching that early because we put some birds on. Um, and that would be nice because it just means I'd normally watch stuff on my laptop before bed. But it means now I can just cast it onto the TV and I don't need to have the laptop on the bed. It's just going to be more comfortable. Especially because I've normally got a book in one hand and my phone in the other doing Duolingo. Um, so yeah. 
Oh, I've been looking into getting a new oven because my current oven, it's not great. It, I mean, it works, but um, I probably need a new one soon. My dad actually gave me some money to go towards it. But the problem is, is it's a gas oven. And if I switch to an electric oven, I don't have the right plug for it. So I need to... Um, I need to either get a new plug made or just get another gas oven, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Um, and also at some point I want to get a new chair because I've just got this, it's just a crappy office chair, you can't even see the back of it. Hang on, there we go. Um, and so I want to get like a proper, one of the nice gaming chairs that all the streamers use because this is easily where I spend the most of my time is on this chair. So it's quite important to get a decent one, you know. So they're about 70 odd quid I think and um, it'd be an investment worth making. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Yo, yo, it is, oh, I'm out of focus, there we go. And I'm on low battery apparently as well. It is 20 past six on Friday the 3rd of December. Um, still being productive with houseworky bits really. Um, just made a stir fry, so that was nice. I am still reading uh, Timeline by Michael Crichton, which is very good, so I'm still enjoying that. Um, after that, I'm going to pick up uh, The Beast from the East, I think it's called, by R.L. Stein. So it's one of the original Goosebumps books that I never read, um, so I'm excited to get to that. I made a stir fry earlier, that was delicious. Um, and been doing a bit of tidying and sorting and stuff here and there. Got lots of houseworky jobs on to do, really. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to crack on with that. And uh, I think that's all I've got for you because it's a super nothing day. I haven't been out. Um, I went to the shop yesterday, actually, just to get some food, to get the stuff to make the stir fry. Oh, it was such a good stir fry. And I have loads left as well. Uh, oh, and I've got a client call or a new client call at 7.30 p.m. I say a new client. They might not become a new client. A potential new client call at 7.30 p.m. So I have that to look forward to as well. Um, but in the meantime, I think I'm going to go and edit a little bit of video -y stuff. I managed to do some more eBay listings, which was all good. And then eBay went down and wasn't letting me list anymore. So, um, Not because I'd hit a limit, because they were having a 500 server error. So we're going to try again tonight. Because I've about, got about 40 odd more items that I can list before I hit my cap. And uh, I have a big backlog of stuff to sell. And post for that matter. Biggie's having a sit by the Christmas tree and a big yawn. That was a big one. God, you're looking chonky, cat. You're looking very chonky. You need to go on a diet. Don't you? You need to go on a diet. Yes, you do. Oh, stretch. Yes, love you. Love you. The internet people say hi. Don't they? They say hi. Hi, Biggie. Oh, scratches. Yes. Yo, yo, it is update time. The eagle-eyed among you will notice I'm wearing the same t-shirt because I'm a grubby bastard. Uh, well, I've been painting, so I saw not much point in changing to a different t-shirt. I might as well wear the one that was already dirty and shit. Um, I have, what is it? It is 10 past eight on Saturday, the 4th of December. Um, there is a gig happening at the art center, but it's on the other side of town. I can't be asked to go out and I'm busy being productive and shit. So uh, I've painted my bathroom door. It doesn't need another coat, but the first coat is at least done. Um, I'm going to try and paint another door today as well. I basically have these like two things that are like bed sheets that my mum gave me that I can use to like put under an area while I'm painting it. So I'm limited to how much painting I can do at a given time. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to do that other door. It's also in the living room. I have four doors total I need to do. So I'm going to do those. And then they're probably all going to need a second coat as well. But hey-ho, it's a nice bit of, um, you know, cleaning up and tidying all that stuff. Um, I've been doing some editing. I've been doing some working. Um, and all of that good stuff. eBay started working for a bit so I could list some new stuff. And then it immediately went down again. But I've already sold a box like a vinyl record storage box that I just wanted to get rid of to be honest there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna reduce the prices on just to get rid of it like all the bulky stuff basically I just want to make some more space so that's what I've been doing um, I had some pies earlier I might make some broccoli soup later because I got some broccoli to use up so that's probably my plan for dinner and I've got some nice bread actually so that should be good I'm still reading timeline by um, Michael Crichton I'm about 30 pages from the end Probably going to be a 3.5 out of 5. Same criticism that I had before, which was that it started really interesting. and had some really interesting ideas. And then 
it just it turned from sort of speculative science fiction into historical fiction which is fine it's just not what I was expecting or signed up for so it went from being very much about the ideas to being very much about the plot and the characters which I'm a little bit less kind of absorbed in so um, hey ho I learned to play a song by a band that I like called Fabulous Parfait who are a local act a song called Your Fear so I posted a video of that earlier which was fun um, next up I'm going to read The Beast from the East by R.L. Stein, and then possibly some Roald Dahl because I have a couple of little collections by him to go to. Um, and actually it's almost time for me to pick up the next um, Wizard of Oz book as well. I'm kind of limited actually in terms of the books that I can pick up because a lot of them now are bits of series that I need to sort that out for. Like I've got some James Herbert up there, um, we'll see. Uh, and I think that's all I've got for you to be honest. Uh, oh, the vegan market's in town tomorrow So I'll probably go to that. It's on till 4 p.m. So I can have a lie in and go to that. I had a call with a client earlier uh, Oh, I watched a live gig that the offspring did on the offspring's YouTube channel. That was good Watched a bit of Adam's family caught up on the Duolingo French podcast So now I've got my subscriptions to catch up on and then I guess I'm gonna watch this guy playing Baldur's Gate 3 in early access because uh, I don't play video games anymore, I just watch people play them. I also finished reading Etoile by Gillian Edwards and somebody Thomas, I think it was. Um, it was a study guide for French that, um, it's actually part of a series that the BBC did. Um, but the, and it came, I came, like, it's a thing that they would did for schools and it's obviously like an old school, um, that I bought this job lot of French stuff from. Um, so I, I read that because there was some like, little cartoons, Bon Dessiné in there. Um, there's some audio exercises in it, but it didn't come with the tape, and even if it did, I don't have a tape player, so I couldn't do those. But um, yeah, that was enjoyable. Probably a three out of five, but a strong one. So my next uh, bedtime French read is uh, Le Bouclier Arven, I think, which is the Arven Shield. Um, by Argus and Ian so which is the next Asterix book and uh, Charlie Charles Heathcote said he's gonna send me some French books as well So I've got those to look forward to as well. Hello. It is Sunday It is five to six on Sunday the 5th of December um, Been being reasonably productive done some more painting so I've painted the second coat on the bathroom door So that's pretty much done now. I do actually want to paint the bathroom ceiling as well um but once I've done that, the bathroom is basically done. I mean, there are a couple of other tiny clean bits to do and it'll be nice once the cleaner goes in on the, her next visit. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It means that the bathroom is almost completely done. And I've also got some new uh, a toilet mat and a bath mat or whatever, um, but they're in red so that they go with my color scheme. So that's very exciting. Book-wise, I've finished reading The Beast from the East. It's on the floor down there. I gave it a three out of five. It wasn't the best Goosebumps book. So the, I guess the issue for me is, part of it is that I have no like, um, um, buh, 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 what's the word, nostalgic connection to it, because I never read it when I was younger. But also it was just kind of dull, it was basically about a game of tag in a forest where if you lose these monsters are going to eat you. Um, so I don't think it was the best. I actually said in my written review of it for my Goodreads and my book blog, the, probably the best thing is that the character's name, uh, the surname was Wald, and that means forest in German, and they were playing in a forest, so I thought that was a nice touch. Um, but yeah, and now I'm reading The Emerald City of Oz by L. Frank Baum, so this is the next Wizard of Oz book that I'll be doing a buddy read with uh, Joel Swagman with. Actually, not even supposed to start it till tomorrow, and I might be finished by then, but it's good to, uh, you know, get ahead, I suppose. I'm not breaking the schedule too much. Um, and it just depends, because, like, whatever I read next will probably be quite a long one. I don't even know. Probably some Roald Dahl, um, from by the looks of it. So we will see. Um, and I think that's pretty much all I've got for you. I managed to get eBay to work a bit, so I've managed to list some more stuff on eBay. Not everything that needs to go on there, but some of the stuff, which is a good start. And um, yeah, I'm going to crack on with writing and editing this evening and we'll, we'll see how I get on with that. Also, I went to the vegan market today. Uh, I had a, uh, well, let's see, it was on my phone. It was called the top of the naughty list um, from this vegan sausage place. So it had a cheese and leek vegan sausage topped with this isn't bacon, roasted vegetables, crispy onions, a Yorkshire pudding, vegan chicken pieces, winter herb aioli and gravy. Um, but they actually 
didn't have any of the vegan Yorkshire puddings, which is a shame because it's really hard to get hold of like good ones. But they told me where they buy theirs from, so now I'm going to go online and order myself some. So it could be a lot worse. Um, I also got a Biscoff latte, delicious. And um, I've got these, I haven't eaten these yet. These are some cookies, like red velvet cookies with vegan marshmallows in. So I've got two of these. So I'll give one to my friend Sabrina, then I will eat the other one myself. Although I might just eat them both myself, we'll see. Kind of depends when I see her as well, because if I think it's going to go stale, I'm going to eat it. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to crack on this evening with some more of the housework and painting-y stuff. Vlog update, and Biggie is here, aren't you Biggs? Um, I'm going to go and show you. I've been doing some more painting. Obviously, I can't really do a before and after. But um, I've been painting the doors. This is the end. So, here you go. That is the living room door, freshly painted. It actually might not need a second coat. I might give it one just to be on the safe side. You can also even see that faint line was like a crack in the wood or the paint or something, but actually painting over it seems to have helped a lot. Um, and then through here, I've also painted these doors and the frames and stuff. Um, and I have painted as well the radiator. So that used to have some like rust at the bottom. So it's nice that that's done. Um, I do still need to clean this mirror look. You can see that needs doing. But um, yeah, that's been, it's been a pr pretty productive day for painting, hasn't it Biggie? Do you want some food? You want some food? Come on then. Yo, hello. It is um, just 10 to seven on Monday the 6th of December. Um, I've had some bad news. My granddad uh, on my dad's side isn't doing very well, so he's going to give me an update. He's had a mini fit and he's in hospital, so fingers crossed he pulls through. I mean, he's not been doing very well in general. He is 90 as well, but um, yeah, I'm just hoping he kind of pulls through so that everyone can kind of enjoy Christmas. I'm not so worried about myself, but obviously worried about him and worried about my dad and my grandma, and my dad's got some brothers and stuff as well. Um, I went to bed last night at about half five and then slept through till 5 p.m. today, as you do, so I didn't see any sunlight today. Um, did go to Morrison's earlier to stock up on some food and I got a new plant, so that was very exciting. And um, obviously last night I was doing some painting. I'm probably going to paint that door behind me this evening as well, and then all the doors are done. Assuming it doesn't need a second coat, but the kitchen one didn't. It was only the bathroom uh, one that did. Um, and then my cleaner's coming tomorrow, which is good because this place badly needs a clean. It's, I've need, not even like hoovered since putting the Christmas decorations up, so that needs doing. And there are a few jobs I'm going to get her to do, like um, she's going to be able to um, iron the wall hangings in my bedroom, which will be good. Um, and a few other bits. So, yeah, I assume she's going to be in this week and again next week. Cause she's supposed to come every week, which will put her on the 14th. And then I guess she'd be in again on the 28th. So that, that could work all right. Um, but because of that and because I got up at 5 p.m. I'm probably just going to stay up all night. I've got four energy drinks to help me out with that. I've got my coffee maker downstairs. So I'll probably do that and then go to sleep when she's left. Um, and then in the meantime I've got like loads of tidying I need to do. I've got a few bits I need to do in town and I need to ring the doctors and all stuff like that. So I need to be awake in the daytime to do all of those. Um, in terms of my work, so I have this big, like, big pile up of hours, basically. So at one point, I was owed, like, 4,000 hours of work, which is, like, three solid days of work. Because um, when, I, when I moved in, basically, I was doing less work and doing some extra um, unpacking and all that stuff. So I've now, I'm now at the point where I've only got 130 minutes of extra untimed stuff to do, which is when I check my emails at the same time as working. Um, and I also squeeze in my video editing into that. And then I've got 2,595 minutes of timed stuff to do, so we'll get to that soon. Um, but I do have quite a lot on as well, so it will help me to sort of stay up all night and work all night. And I'll be able to at least tick off that 130 minutes so that the only extra stuff I have to do is time stuff. And then I'll probably have some time off when I'm in Tamworth over Christmas. I'll probably have some time off then and then that'll kind of bump the numbers back up again for when I get back, but that's fine. Um, yeah, and then I would hope by about February I'll have caught up with all of that and I can get a bit more of a work-life balance going, you know? The good news is, is that I did lots of editing last night. I edited, I think, three new vlogs, so I've now caught up 
I'm only about three vlogs behind. I got all my eBay stuff listed as well, so um, not a huge amount to do. I got some more filming to do this evening, um, and like some videos to format and stuff on the uploads, but I won't have a huge amount of editing to do this evening. So yeah, I will mostly be focusing on working. I have almost finished reading the Emerald City of Oz. I think I'm literally on the last chapter. Probably a 3.5 out of 5 for this one, but a strong one. Um, Biggie's sitting there on some parcel wrapping paper, aren't you, cat? Yes, yes he is. Um, so yeah, next up I'm going to read My Uncle Oswald by Roald Dahl, which I think I've read some of. I mean, this is presented as a novel, but I understood it was more like short stories. But there's not even like chapters in this edition, so we'll see. So maybe it is a novel. And then I've just read some Oswald short stories, I don't know, we'll find out when I start reading it. Hello people of YouTube, I should probably turn my light on. It is currently um, 23.25, so coming up for half 11 in the evening of Tuesday the 7th of December. Um, oh, so last night I had a panic attack about 4 or 5 a.m., so that was no fun. Um, then I didn't really get that much sleep, I slept from like 6 a.m. till about... No, I probably slept, it was about 8am, 8am till about noon, um, then the cleaner came round and she left at 4, then I went to bed after that and got up again at about 7pm, because I had an interview. Um, I have caught up on all of my untimed stuff now, so I just have 2,650 minutes of timed work to catch up on, which is going to take a fair old time, um, but that means that I'm also, like, I don't have any owed uh, filming time, which is all good anyway. I mean, all I've got to do um, is when I finish reading Roald Dahl, um, My Uncle Oswald, my current book, solid four out of five, although there is some homophobia in it and a bit of like casual racism, but I think it's just the time it was. It's also very sexually explicit, which people wouldn't associate with Roald Dahl, but it is one of his books for adults, so that's why. But I am enjoying it still. That's basically a story about um, Uncle Oswald, he finds this like type of sexual stimulant that's like 10 times more potent than Viagra. I'll trigger warning for rape as well, although basically somebody just keeps willingly put herself in to be raped by people who've taken this drug because they're trying to collect the semen of like all of these famous people like James Joyce and whoever else, uh, like Picasso I think was one of them. So they're like basically giving the, these guys a piece of chocolate with this drug in it and then they're having sex with this woman who's then taking the condoms away so that they can freeze the sperm and then sell it to the highest bidder. That's basically the plot of this book. But yeah, only about 50 pages left of that to go so I need to film my review and my wrap up of that. That's it filming wise. I do have some editing stuff to do as well but I think I'm out of space on my Mac again so I probably need to watch some more Adam's Family to free up some space. Um, but I have recently, I've like filmed, uh, I've edited so much stuff, like I think four, three or four reading vlogs. That's my heating doing that, I think. It did this before, it's very concerning. And what happens if I come through here? And come to the heating thing. There we go. Turn the heating off. Turn it back on again. Dude, this is a timer! I didn't know that was a timer. That's useful to know. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, I finished doing my bathroom. I might as well show you that quickly. So as I say, the cleaner's been in, so it's nice and tidy now. Uh, these are the doors that I've repainted, and I also repainted this one. And then the bathroom is all done, so I get I put a new handle on today. Uh, so that's a new... There we go. So that's a new handle there. The old one was, like, all scuffed and horrible. Um, so that's all in now. And for some reason, this side... This... Oh... Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This handle's a bit sh shit, to be honest. It doesn't open from this side. But then on this side, it does. Which was good, because I was in here earlier after I put that on, and I was like, oh god, I can't get out. But it is working. Um, I put this bolt on as well, so you can now bolt the door. So that's all good. Um, I took off, I had a thing hanging up there, which had gone a bit rusty. Um, so I've taken that off and I've ordered like a replacement. But yeah, the bathroom is now officially done. 
so I'm quite happy with that. Um, so next job, it's off again. Well, maybe we'll just turn the heating off for a while. It's been on for long enough anyway. I'll leave it like that to remind me. What does it say about the pressure gauge? The gauge, normal operating pressure is between 1 and 2.5. So we are on the right pressure. So I don't know. I don't know why that's doing that, but that's fine. I'll let it, I'll leave it off for a bit because it's warm enough in here. But yeah, so my next job is going to be to do the skirting boards in the bedroom, which shouldn't be too difficult because I can get to most of them. I just need to pull the bed out to get to the one behind the bed. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing that soon. Might even do that this evening, we'll see. Oh, hello. It is quarter to midnight on Thursday the 9th of December. I'm just watching a train go past. I think that way is east, so I think the trains going that way are going up north towards where my mum lives. Um, actually, last time I went to visit her, I was trying to look out the window when I was on the train to see if I could see my house and my garden, but it was too quick. Um, yeah, today I had a call with the art centre earlier. That was okay, just um, basically... Yo, I'm back again. Um, I ran out of space on my camera, and in the intervening time while I was copying stuff off my camera, I can't remember what I was talking about, but I'm sure it was. Oh, oh, I was saying I went to, yeah, had a call with the art centre, because um, I'm basically, I'm not able to keep doing their marketing and stuff. I just don't have time on top of all of my other clients. Um, so, um, yeah, so I had a call with Ruth about how we're going to do the handover. Where are you going, Biggie? Biggie's not allowed to go very many places at the moment. Um, I'm going to show you why in a minute. Um, but yeah, that seemed to go okay. I went to town and did some bank stuff. It's been a very adulty day because I did some ironing earlier as well. Um, and the main thing I have been doing, which, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Are you going to try and jump out the window? Better close it then, haven't we? I've had the window open because I've been super sweaty because, right. Uh, painted that. Um, but the main thing is, oh lord, I've been in the bedroom and I've painted all the walls. God, I can hear the acoustics in here are different. Um, so all of the walls now have been painted. I need to paint the top of um, that unit there, um, like on top of it, because that's where some of the vinyl goes. Well, this is where all of this vinyl goes, so I had to shift all of this vinyl down to, to get to it. Um, but yeah, painted these doors and stuff, so it's all actually looking pretty nice. Got my Agatha Christie up there. Paint's still drying in some places. But uh, yeah, I need to paint the window frame um, as well. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing for most of today. But it just means, as I say, it's pretty late now. And I've still got a few bits of paint left to do. I need to give that another coat. Don't I, Biggie? So I think I've got I've got the top of the um, book, the board, the whatever it is, wardrobe to paint, the window frame, um, and the mirror. So yes, I've got to do all that, and then once the top of the wardrobe is dried, which will hopefully be before I go be before I go to bed tonight, because I do have been going to bed quite late. And I can put all these vinyl records back up. I can put my wall hangings back up once the walls are dried. Um, although I need to iron the other one because I've only ironed one wall hanging. I'm going to do that one as well while I'm at it. So yeah, I've been doing lots of adulting. Um, but yeah, my goal base. Well, my goal was to finish the bedroom before the end of this weekend. But actually, there's a decentish chance I'll finish it this evening, depending upon how late I stay up. It would be nice because then when I go to bed, I can feel very accomplished lying in bed in my nicely decorated room. Um, I mean, it's not like there's not been like a, any major changes. It's mostly just been painting it a fresher cream colour and doing the skirting boards and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it gives me joy when I look over at it now and I'm like, yeah, that's one done. So that now means the bathroom's done, bedroom's done, garden's done, um, at least until the spring when I can start planting other stuff. So that just leaves the kitchen, the living room, and in here the studio, um, which are going to be the three 
biggest pains in the ass to do so I don't know when I'm gonna do those um, yeah we will see I mean in here I'll probably I'll do in here in halves anyway so I'll do that half of the room and then move over and then do this half of the room so it won't be too bad um, yeah it's just gonna be a pain because I'll have to pull out all the computers and all that stuff but on the other side I do also want to have a look at my cable management as well um, books wise I finished reading uh, My Uncle Oswald by Roald Dahl that was a 4 out of 5 very good very sexual as well though and very politically incorrect you kind of have to read it bearing that in mind I guess um, but I did still enjoy it and now I am reading what's it called Uncle Sh Sh Henry Sugar I don't even know where my book is because I made such a mess in here I don't know, it might be over there, I'm going to go find it anyway. Um, but yeah, it's a short story collection, um, including the title collection, which is about this guy who basically used yoga to become able to count cards, and then he used that to win money from casinos and then use it to build some orphanages. There's also some nice little bits of non-fiction in there and stuff as well. Um, so yeah, it's very good so far. And then after that, I'm going to finally, finally start reading Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. Right, I'm so worn out when I was doing those bits earlier because I removed all of the vinyl and then did the painting immediately afterwards. Oh, I should have taken a break between those two because I thought I was going to have a fucking heart attack. Hello, and apologies if you can hear my washing machine going downstairs. It's about to take off. Um, it is currently Tuesday the 14th of December. I haven't vlogged for a few days because basically what happened is I have... My vlogging time is also my part of my um, work time, basically. And I've just been doing loads of work. Uh, I made about $1,400 last week though, so that's good. It was a busy old week. Um, updates wise, um, well the UK has mostly been kind of going into, not lockdown, but we've been getting a bit more COVID-y. Uh, I actually had my booster jab booked on Friday, so that's good. But because of that, everything's been being cancelled and I've not really wanted to go out. So I've just been at home. Uh, Sabrina came over on Friday and Sunday and we just played some board games made some food so we did pizzas on Friday um, Pesto pasta on Sunday because Sabrina's also vegan as well, so I have a vegan friend to cook with now So that's good. We're actually gonna do a Christmas dinner on like Thursday I think I think I got a message from her now actually because I asked if there's anything specific she needs me to get in So that's nice um, In board games news. I, I bought I bought a hunter killer box, which is like a um, um, uh, like a subscription box board game I guess where you hunt down a killer uh, it's advertised by a lot of the true crime channels on YouTube so I bought one of those through an affiliate link to help those out as well other than that there's not too much to update you on I bought myself some flowers I pressed the wrong button but those are the flowers those blue ones so those were only 75p they were on sale so that was nice um, what else have I done I put a guitar like it's an old uh, electric guitar that's like for kids that I got from a car boot sale put that up on display out in the garden I've also turned an, a drum into a planter so that's cool um, been catching up with uh, eBay posting and all of that stuff I haven't done any decoration recently as I said I've just been doing loads of work really I have read some books though so I'm going to talk to you about those in a minute the other thing to mention is uh, my band The Ilk, we have gigs on Friday and Saturday. So Friday we're playing The Rising Sun in Ickford, Saturday we're playing The Phoenix here in High Wycombe. Uh, we're getting paid £50 for the second one which is nice, 25 quid each, better than nothing. And uh, yeah, oh and as you'll have guessed I'm just going to extend this into a second weekly vlog because I didn't, didn't update you that much. What have I got here? These are all the books that I read, I need to do wrap ups of these as well. So I said I read Le Bouclier d'Arverne by Argosinian Eodet. So this is a uh, bande dessinée, a um, French graphic novel basically. It's part of the Asterix series. At this point, it's actually I was finding it quite difficult to keep up with it. It's as though I don't know if the language has got more advanced as the series has gone on, or if it was just this issue. But I, I did kind of struggle with it. So I probably gave it like a three out of five. It was okay, but I'm, I mean I feel like I missed a lot. I also read some Dahl, so I read. My Uncle Oswald, um, which was a lot of fun. Um, basically, Uncle Oswald is this like debauched old man and he gets up to all sorts of shenanigans. So in this, um, he finds a beetle that can be refined into like a drug that's like 10 times more powerful than Viagra. And they end up using this as part of a scheme to get sperm from like famous well-known people. 
so that they can then sell the sperm to people after they've died. Um, and that tells you a lot about this book. Um, bit of casual racism here and there. I mean, it's probably problematic by today's standards. But it was also very funny, four out of five. Um, definitely for adults, by the way. Um, and then I also read The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar, which is a collection of short stories, including the main short story, um, which is the title story, which is about a guy who finds a way to, like using yoga and stuff basically, he can see through cards, so he can go to casinos and win at blackjack because he knows what the next card's going to be. And at first he's going to just make himself rich and he ends up um, deciding he's going to make all this money and give it to orphanages and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Uh, that was probably like 3.5 out of 5 but still pretty good. Then I've been reading some philosophy. So first up I read Letters from a Stoic by Seneca. Uh, this surprised me because it is literally letters and normally letters for me are very much a, like a classic bedtime read. Um, but they were just sort of very interesting. I mean you can see how many tabs I made throughout it. I've got lots to talk about in this one. Um, I don't know, let's flick to a random thing, see if I can find what I tabbed out. The only problem is, is a lot of it is, is quite dense, so it might take me a minute to find this. Um, basically, that one's talking about how you need to be kept busy if you want to be able to rest properly. I'm not going to read the full quote, um, you can save that for the review. But yeah, that was a 4 out of 5. And then I read Beyond Good and Evil by Friedrich Nietzsche. Everyone always says I'd love Nietzsche. He was alright. Um, again, both of those were quite heavy going. I mean, as you'd expect really from Penguin cl classics of like philosophy and whatnot. Um, the main problem with it was that Nietzsche had some very unenlightened views towards women. Like Seneca had more modern views about women than Nietzsche, despite being born 2,000 years earlier. So that was kind of alarming. Um, and also with Nietzsche it was very much like trawling through it to find bits of interest. Um, like with Seneca it was just like every page there was something interesting on it. Whereas with Nietzsche it was like 10 pages of him waffling on. And then suddenly a really fascinating paragraph and then 10 more pages of him waffling on you know. But yeah still 3.5 out of 5 and I'm glad that I've read some Nietzsche. I probably will read some more in the future but I'm in no rush. Um, but yeah the Seneca one was great. And so now... I've literally just finished reading Nietzsche, so I've got to pick up my next book. And I think I'm going to give this a go, which is Journey to the Other Side of the World by David Attenborough, as in The Naturalist. Hey, my washing's done. Um, the adv Further Adventures of a Young Naturalist, and yeah, it's just David Attenborough writing about his travels and stuff, so it should be good. I'll probably read it in his voice, you know? So yeah, a lot of non-fiction at the moment. And that is where we're at, so I'm now going to get back to work. Hello, it is uh, 20 to 8 on Wednesday the 15th of December. I'm fully nocturnal. As Johnny Cash said, what key are we in? I think we're in A sharp. He said, he said, wait a minute. Sorry, B flat, B flat. I would get told off for that. He said, uh, night. Oh wait, no, he probably are still in the, we're in the F, we're in F. And he said, uh, I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. I have seen the sunshine. I saw it peek in through the curtains yesterday or the day before. Um, I'm currently in my very comfortable new chair. Let me shift out of the way. Oh, yes. Um, it's actually, my mum got it for me as an early Christmas present and it's very comfortable. So I spent half an hour putting that together today. It is somehow larger and more comfortable and half the weight of my previous chair. Um, I'm currently reading Journeys to the Other Side of the... Oh, hello. I'm currently reading Journeys to the Other Side of the World by David Attenborough. Uh, this actually has three books in it. What does it have in it? it does not say. It doesn't say there. I'll have to check the um, index. So it's got Quest in Paradise, which I happen to have already read. Zoo Quest to Madagascar, which I've just finished reading, which is very good. Probably a four out of five. And I'm now reading Quest Under Capricorn. Um, where he goes to Australia and it's basically well it's subtitled further adventures of a young naturalist and it's basically I think he wrote them originally like the 60s um, and it's just David Attenborough bodding around trying to take photos and videos of stuff although he is capturing a lot of animals for London Zoo which makes me a bit sad because I don't like zoos because I'm vegan vegan power but I am enjoying it the whole thing out so far is on course for four out of five and it's a nice little Brucey bonus because I'm down to about I think my currently reading is 24 books and because I'd read Quest in Paradise that takes up half of that book so 
It was like a nice way to skip in. Next up, I have East of Eden down there, but I don't know if I'm going to read it. I might cheat on the Wizard of Oz buddy reads I'm doing with Joel and read the next one a little bit early. I'm not due to start until next Monday. But if I read it a bit early, I could film my review of it and get that done before I head home for Christmas. Um, and then I'm probably going to read the collected short stories of Roald Dahl because I'm excited to get to that even though it is a chunk of about 650 pages. But I have read some of the short stories as well. Um, and actually that also means that then in the future when I pick up a Roald Dahl short story collection I can just tick it off straight away because I'll have already read the stories from it so that's good. I'm currently watching Gab Smolders who uh, she, I guess she does gamer videos, she has a very cute cat called BB but um, she's Jacksepticeye's girlfriend as well um, and she's playing Resident Evil 4 in VR. I've actually been watching another guy whose name I can't remember off the top of my head um, but he's been doing a series of it as well and he's actually like way further than she is so I saw her do the first episode and was like this is good I want to watch the full thing so I started watching someone else do it because she didn't carry on doing it and now she's back uh, but they have different playing styles anyway like she's very she stands against a green screen so you can see her in the VR headset um, but the other guy is doing like natural movement so he's having to walk around and stuff whereas she's using like teleportation movement and things like that so it's kind of cool to watch their two different playing styles um, the other big news is today is cover reveal day for The Last Keeper by J.V. Hilliard. Um, so he's a client of mine, it's a big old fantasy novel. Um, we're very proud of this one. So uh, I helped him with the editing and I have been doing the um, marketing and stuff. I wonder if I get a credit, I hope I get a credit. I don't get a credit, oh well. Um, oh and she didn't use the map. I'm sure I get a note in the acknowledgements. Yeah, in the acknowledgements I'm in there, so that's nice. But yeah, um, so this is coming out on uh, January the 5th. I'll be doing a little video to announce that as well, but um, keep your eyes peeled, because um, I think you're going to like this one. And if you want to read it, let me know, because we have review copies to send people. So work-wise, I'm just posting all the cover reveal and stuff for that at the moment as well, and just getting a bit of stuff done. Then I have a call at 9pm till 10.15pm with some Australians. Um, then at some point I need to sleep, even though my sleep has been terrible. And then tomorrow, my friend Sabrina's coming around for, we're having a Christmas dinner, we're going to go to the pub and have a pint, got some gifts for each other, should be nice. Then Friday and Saturday I have gigs, Sunday I've got another call with the Australians, and then the week after that is on the run up to Christmas and I'm just getting stuff ready before I head home. Yo, it is me, it is currently 5 to 1, oh yeah I'm on low battery, I forgot to charge. Oh well then, well I guess I'll film until the battery runs out. Hello everybody, it is Sunday, no Monday the 20th of December 2021, it's about 9.25am, I haven't really slept, um, oh yeah I haven't done an update for a while because it's been fucking mental, it's just been, oh. Okay, so, uh, Friday morning I got my Covid booster jab and it just wiped me out. So I spent most of the weekend sleeping and or vomiting, which is really annoying because the jabs I've had before, they were all fine. So I was getting a bit cocky and it turns out, no, it, it kicked my ass. I also played a gig Saturday night, um, which was luckily I was just about on, you know, coming round after then because they'd been about 36 hours or so then. So I had enough energy to do that and then I just went to bed after that. Slept for most of yesterday as well. So I probably spent, over the last 72 hours, I imagine I've spent 40 hours of it sleeping. There's a squirrel out in my garden and he's just running this way. I could just see it. Hi, Mr. Squirrel. Yeah, I've, I've had uh, squirrels and also robins out in the garden, so that's been quite nice to, to be able to watch them from the window. Housewise, I haven't done a huge amount of decorating and stuff like that. Um, I will show you what I have done, actually. So I did this bit here, so I painted over all the white bits and then put my plants there, so that's quite cute. Um, I've also been putting a load of things up. I got this from Sabrina, this was, oh, that was my Christmas present from Sabrina. God, it's been since, I haven't even updated you since then. I've just been so busy, so I haven't been doing vlogs or anything. So yeah, on Thursday, 
Sabrina came over and we made a vegan roast dinner. It was very nice. We also watched an episode of Scooby Doo while we ate and played some board games. So that was good and she gave me that gift which is it's basically a canvas for me to colour in but she's put a bunch of my favourite books on it so there's like It, Mr Bump, um, I think that's Hamlet. Not necessarily a favourite book but basically because um, she, she asked me like what my 10 favourite books were and I was like well I don't know. And give you my 10 favourite authors and pick a favourite book by each of them, I guess. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's really sweet, really thoughtful. And the idea is I can colour it in and it's, it should help with my anxiety. Because that's what I've done in the past with the previous frame that I coloured in. Um, I've got a bunch more Mr. Men books from eBay. I've got some James Herbert, which I'm looking forward to getting to as well. And i got this, which is The Last Keeper by J.V. Hilliard. So this is a book that I worked on and this is out now. Fancy novel. Big old book about that coming soon, don't you worry. Uh, video, sorry. Big old video about that coming soon. Yeah, that pretty much just brings us up to date in terms of life. And then um, last night, again, I'd done loads of sleeping. And then last night, I couldn't really sleep. But also, I had a bad stomach ache because of my IBS. Um, so, I ended up waiting for Morrison's to open, which is the supermarket near me. So, that opened at 6 a.m. I went straight there and got some food. And I've been back and I've just been working. That's also why I haven't been filming very much because I've been doing loads of work, but I've been doing timed work. Just trying to make some pennies and stuff, you know. But as uh, I'm up early and I've been working all night already, I'm in uh, filming mode. I, I'm able to film because I've done all of my other stuff. So I'm filming and editing at the moment. Finally got some space on my Mac as well, which is also always good. Um... Reading wise, so after I finished reading those, I don't even know what I last told you about, oh god. Well, so the last thing, I read um, um, Beyond Good and Evil by Friedrich Nietzsche, that was 3.5 out of 5. And then I read Journeys to the Other Side of the World by David Attenborough, this is a 4 out of 5. It's actually three books bound together, so it's uh, Quest in Paradise, which I'd already read, Zoo Quest to Madagascar, which was a 4 out of 5, and then what's the other one, Quest Under Capricorn, where he went to Australia, another 4 out of 5, um, these were written when he was a young man, although this edition is quite a recent one, so it's got kind of a few introductions and things like that, where he's, you know, more recent David Attenborough talking about stuff, but just fascinating, especially if you're a David Attenborough fan, and actually it shows that he was just a really good travel writer, because uh, the Quest Under Capricorn, for example, he's literally just buggering off to Australia and you know mooching about like there's not that many animals in it um, so if you're going into it expecting animals galore you might be a little bit disappointed but I really enjoyed it just because again it, how well it captured the Aussies uh, the last keeper I will give I mean this is a 4.5 out of 5 for me I think it's really good I mean granted I did help with it a lot so I can't really give a, an impartial uh, review of it but uh, you know I, I, uh, it was a very exciting project to work on because I was like, this guy's got something here, you know? Uh, especially from like the world building and stuff like that because he based it all on it, like years of D&D &D campaigns. Cat's down there somewhere, you probably can't see him. That's me doing a little spin. Now, I'm now reading The Patchwork Girl of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Uh, so this is number seven in the Wizard of Oz series. I will be doing a full review of it. This is part of the Buddy Reed series that I've been doing with Joel Swagman. It's okay so far, um, but it reminds me a bit of The Road to Oz where, I don't know, it's not hugely interesting. Um, he's kind of struggling a bit because at the end of the last book, he sort of put the barriers up for this, you know, for Oz and made it so that... that they, they, they can never be contacted from our world or whatever but then he got round it because he sent a telegraph uh, and um, Dorothy picked it up and told him all about this story but it's another one of those like these people are bodding around trying to get all the ingredients for a magic potion to like fix some people who've been turned to stone and I'm just like they could have just asked could have just asked Oz to, to wish uh, Ozma to wish them better with a magic wishing belt but no, they, they would not do that. I mean, to be fair, they didn't know her, so she might have told them to piss off. But but anyway, I am enjoying it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. So I haven't established it, but because I have this big stack of Mr. Men books and um, Frank Herbert books, I'm just going to work through those. I've also got this new chair. It's a very comfortable chair, and it's faux leather. Um, and it's like a gaming chair, and it's just way better than my old chair. So yeah, I'll probably read some of these Mr. Men books, then move on to um, uh, 
James Herbert. I think I said Frank Herbert. I meant James. I think I've got Lair, which is the second Rats book, and then I have Dominion up there. So actually, Lair was already on my list that I needed to get soon to unlock another book in my currently reading, you know. The good news is my currently reading pile is down to about 22 books or something now. And a lot of them are bedtime books. I mean, I'm really kind of scraping the barrel to, <laughs> at the moment, to be honest. That's why after I finish reading Oz, I'm going to go straight to these new books that I've got. Because I don't really know if there's anything up there that I would want to read as a main book. Apart from these James Herbert ones that I need to read the books in between to get to them, you know. But yes, anyway, that is where we're at, and I'm going to love you and leave you, so thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.